So even Fox News is getting a little sick of the lies coming from Trump, the Trump team, and the Trump family. Specifically, Laura Trump was on Fox earlier today. She's a Trump spokesperson and Trump's daughter-in-law. And she tried to call Fox News polling a lie because it made Joe Biden look good. And they sort of slammed her down a little bit. How do you explain that his approval rating, according to Fox's poll, is at 54%? I mean, I truly don't believe that. I don't think that is a legitimate number. Um, I also think, look, he gets totally coddled, guys, by the mainstream media. Every time you see him truly asked a question by so many of these outlets, there are these softball questions about ice cream. And it, it really, they don't push him on anything. They don't follow up with him in the way we know they would with Donald Trump. And he just gets glowing reviews all around from the mainstream media. So very clearly, people who, who tune into those outlets are not getting the full picture on Joe Biden. But I cannot believe that anybody would uh, have his approval rating anywhere over about negative 5% at this point. <laughs> I'm not sure that well, Fox News stands by the poll. Yeah. How did you, what'd you think of? And so you can hear the shade at the end. You can hear the little backhanded comment at the end that basically Laura Trump doesn't know what she's talking about. Fox News actually did a little bit of journalism there where they said to her, look, you're saying all these things about Biden that, you know, make him look bad, that he's a bad president, that he's not good at his job, blah, 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 blah. But he's got a 56% approval rating. The only reason he would have an approval rating rating that high is if at least some people like him. And remember, Donald Trump never had an approval rating anywhere near 56, let alone higher than it. And Laura doesn't actually have a discussion about what he or what she or what the Republican Party or conservatives could do better to promote themselves or attack Joe Biden more substantively. She just says, I don't believe your numbers. And if they are true, it's because of a media conspiracy to make Joe Biden look better than he is. And the Fox News people basically laugh at her at the end of the clip saying, well, we stand by our numbers. And this shows how bad Trumpism is because even Fox News, when they present objective data, because Fox polling, it's much better than Fox News. Fox polling is good polling. They presented objective polling data and all the Trumpers can do, the Trump family, Trump himself, because remember, Lara is a mouthpiece for Donald. All she could do is say, these are fake numbers. It's fake news. No one likes Joe Biden. It's all fake news. Here's the secret, Lara. People like Joe Biden because he's done some good things. He got the stimulus deal done. Don't get me wrong. But people really like Joe Biden because he's not Donald Trump. Because he is simply not evil like your father-in-law. And you don't want to admit that. You don't want to admit the fact that Joe Biden is popular because he's a lot of things Donald Trump aren't. And people are still happy enough with that. So let's be clear here. This is an instance of the Trump family being so insane that even Fox News that bends over backwards to spread Trump lies are like, this has gone on too far. Biden is popular and Fox is willing to acknowledge that. But for Trumpers and the MAGA crowd, they don't even see numbers as reality. That's how awful they are.